So, first of all, this is a real skateboard dunk right here. That's some skateboard dunks, they're not really skateboard dunks because, like, come on, who, who wants woven and mesh materials on your skateboard shoe? You want the suede, you want the suede, oh, what else you want? The suede and the leather, you want. Nike SB Dunk Low Pro Crenshaw Skate Club Collaboration Edition, release date August 5, 2023. Kind of late right now, actually. Cop the shoe like over a week ago what i've been doing just doing graphic design work artwork graphic design work american dad family guy fatherhood activities that we doing trying to do more skateboarding that's what i'm trying to do trying to get more skateboarding done that's what this is all about dunk is a dunk is a dunk that's what it is right but what makes this one special? All dunks are special to me. I'm a dunk head. Every dunk is very special to me. I, I like I like all the dunks. All the dunks. The dunk is a dunk. Same, same, but different. What makes this one different? When we talk about product design, artwork and design, they also got love letters and Easter eggs. That's actually one of my favorite parts of graphic design. Love letters and Easter eggs. You always got to reward the reader. So you put something in there, someone's going to read it. You make it fancy and cute, someone's going to read it. And it's going to mean something. Also, we got a new box edition. This, this box is called Sale. Sale, color sale. That's what Nike say it is. They say Nike SB Dunk Low Crenshaw Skate Club. Official colorway. Sale slash light blue cedar. Date released August 2023. Box color. Sale box era. Wow, Nike really Nike out here with a nomenclature out here. This is my first sale color box edition dunk right here. That's what we got. That's what we got going on. Came with came with extra insoles. That's crazy. Dang. I've never seen that before. Check it out. This don't go right here came with um, extra laces. Actually, double extra laces. Three colors in total. So you got two alternate colors. That's crazy. Fat oval lace. That's what you want on a dunk. Keeping it classic. Keeping it classic. Very soft suede sock liner. That never happens with a dunk. You all, I've only seen custom dunks have suede sock liners. Maybe I'm tripping. I ain't seen that before. That's super special. Super soft too. You can see the hairs and the fibers. That's very premium. I've literally never stepped my foot inside of a dunk with a suede sock liner. So shout out to Crenshaw Skate Club for this one. Dude. Like, what? Smell like a dunk too. It's a very premium touch. The suede, that's the suede of a skate shoe right there. That's a real, this is a real skateboard shoe right here. The suede. You got textured print up in here. That's also very special. Most dunks just come with a color of material, texture of material, but this one got print. It's got like a maroon burgundy print along with some, it's like a green turquoise muted, muted green. That, that looks like it could be suede too. I see some hairs up in there. I might be tripping, but that's definitely printed on there. That's not a material texture. That's a print texture. This is printmaking. This dunk got printmaking on it. This graphic design out here, this dunk got printmaking on it. That's crazy. It's gonna skid off like a gobstopper. It's gonna be hella tight. We got the tongue tag right here. Tongue tag, special font. I don't know if everyone gets to do that when you get a collabo. I'm not exactly sure every everyone get to change up the Nike logo. That's pretty special right there. It's pretty special. That's graphic design. You get an extra lockup right there. When you be putting elements together for the logo, it's called lockup. That's what it is. Say Dunk Low Pro, because it's a Dunk Low Pro right here. You got Nike SB and special custom font. That's what we've got going on. We got the translucent bottom, ice bottom. That's what we've got going on. The graphic printed. We got the translucent blue. Got some surface scatter shots. It's a light. These, you know what I'm saying? These scatter light and glow. Normally, things back here are in the Nike font. This one got the custom font. Again, super special. It's a very special, that's a very special thing. I'm not exactly sure if everyone gets to do that. The type of cracked, cracked leather. This blue looked like a top layer, but it's very cracked. It's got the crackles. Almost look like ceramics. We got inside tag, super special. Not a fat bonking tongue, but this is a modern dunce. So it's got kind of like in between. There's some, there's some dunce with thin tongues. Then we got some dunce with fat bonking tongues. And then you got like a medium fat right over here, like medium fat. You got nylon on right here. This nylon, I feel like a nylon. The tongue strap is on the inside. Is a matching green. That's how tight. And I'll go see that, but you will appreciate it every time you, every time you rediscover that. That's tight. Love letters and Easter eggs. Love letters and Easter eggs. That's what it's all about. These dunks contain a message and point back to the messenger. I'm the recipient, but come from a messenger. So who is this? Who are we talking about? What is Crenshaw Skate Club? All right, we got Tobias McIntosh up in here. He's the founder. He's the founder of Crenshaw Skate Club. Shout out to the founder. California, Southern California. That's where Crenshaw. I only know Crenshaw from rap music. He's a young man, college age. Already running point on a brand. Brand going international worldwide. We work with Michael Jeffrey Jordan brand. He did a 36 collabo. I seen pictures of that one. I was like, bro, I like the colors of that one. I want to dunk in that color. That's tight. NikeSB.com. It used to be NikeSkateboarding.com. Now it's NikeSB.com. They say a show of unity 
and a signifier for his crew at 14 years old, Tobias McIntosh turned impulse into action with a simple t-shirt. Dang, dude. What was I doing at 14? When I was 14, I wrapped up for writing graffiti. I got arrested, got wrapped up. There's 200 hours community service, graffiti abatement, SFPD, the buff unit, painting over graffiti all over San Francisco. Took me into the cuts, that was crazy. Stacked up in a SFPD van, a bunch of paint in the back pop out with these vests on and like did you really skateboard in san francisco you can get wrapped up for graffiti that's crazy <laughs> i almost forgot that happened for real though homie actual winner he really went in right now started this whole thing with a t-shirt design you just made it for him and the homies that's what it's all about that's what that's what skateboarding is all about it's just you and the homies that's what it's all about and you got a nike collabo nike sb out here Checking the inside of the shoe, my flashlight. Not only is the sock liner suede, all suede. Suede material go all the way into the shoe, at least all the way through the quarter part of the shoe. This right, this part of the dunk, this part of the dunk called the quarter. Inside quarter and the outside quarter. Actually, it's called the medial side and it's called the lateral side. Look at the shoe from the top, big toe. It's called medial side, little toe. Little toe, that's called the lateral side. The lateral side quarter, and we got the medial side quarter. That's a shoe design lesson right there. That's that's true of that's true of all shoes. Medial, lateral. That's what it is. So yeah, sometimes I got design lessons. Sometimes I got design lessons. That's gonna feel super good when you put it on. Wow. That's crazy. That's a quality dunk right there. Non-matching back tabs. Crenshaw Skate Club again right up in here. Back tab also got that cracked, cracked leather surface. This is blue. This is blue probably about to bonk off. And when you skate these, all the printed layers about to bonk off. It's about to it's gonna be it's gonna be tight. We got the building block graphic and tire in the back of the toe on this side, which is the left shoe. But the right shoe is a Crenshaw Skate Club. In the total font that's what we got we got stroked out right up in here we got stroked out with 3d effect going on up in here we got extra details on the letters back here right here there's a throwy there's a graph writer throwy right here write that big on a bus underneath these tongue tags right up in here we got message we got a little message on this side half the statement this side finish the statement that's what this, that's what you got going on up in here this is a obama quote that's what this is they say we are the ones we've been waiting for. I watched that Blue Tile episode where he uh, did the interview with Tobias McIntosh. That has to be the craziest feeling. Like, look, it's yeah. my dunk. Maybe it's one day we'll have to. <laughs> yeah, one, one day. And, and that's what I like to say to anybody. Like, like when I do things, like, I mean, if, if I can do it, it's, it's possible for anybody. Dude got a very good focus on his vision. Like me opening the door and keeping it open for everyone else. Uh, I think a lot of people, they get they get to a certain position and they close the door for everyone else and i love it i agree and i love that i love that you said and that tobias if you out there for real you're doing it for real I support the dunk lore getting into the history and the lore once i find out there's a bunch of stuff i don't know i'm like what do i gotta know who do i gotta ask so I gotta do my research. Been following the story once they announced this one, I was like, I gotta look into this one. We're doing research out here. This is in Bark Life. This is camp in Bark Life out here. We're here to pontificate. We're here to be thinkers and learners. There's a lot of topics where I value brevity when it comes to dung dreaming. When it comes to dung dreaming, I, I'm I'm here to be verbose. I'm an artist designer person, so I'm here to be verbose about graphic design and artwork, visual discussion. That's what we're doing out here. And you have like you're you're a skater and you have a skate perspective and you have access to all the dunks, so you can give like reviews, your own reviews on them. So yeah, I think yeah. it's like it's really dope because like it's not you're not like in it for like I watch some videos and they're like talking about the like the resale value and I'm just like ah oh, click off. For real, right. that the interview was tight. He said he was shop rat at yeah, um, Supreme. Supreme LA. So, yeah, I would just like hang out at the shop, like bother everyone who worked there, like yeah. you sit and watch the skate videos, like just like hanging around the shop. I was a shop rat too. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's true skateboard skateboard story right here everyone everyone started everything started at the skate shop i miss my skate shop i miss my i miss my childhood local skate shop nike sb destroyed my local skate shop that's a story for another time doing the building blocks got the csc instead of abc it's not too clever and it's easy so i think that's that's what makes it work got the palm tree in the clouds very southern california motif that's a bright sunny day right there only two clouds in the sky no worries no worries out here he call it um he call it daycare inspired illustrations same illustration style can be seen throughout that's the illustration style that's actually called graphic illustration because this had to be printed through a printing method got a lot of details on the drawing too it's a crenshaw skate club super tiny on the back of the shirt on one of the baby boys in the back of the other one say CSC like that's hella tight these are these are tiny these are small details I could look at this all day this hella tight anything with the eyes bottom made me think of like a like a candy got some candy bottoms right up in here on the side of the S block 
Got the Nike SB logo. Looks like it's skewed in perspective in the in the graphic. Switching up the logo style. Baby blue sky blue bottom right here. The Phylon foam unit. These white clouds. It's almost like an inlay. The white is also the outsole material. So it sits on top of the graphic. It's pretty tight. You put some light up in there, you see the light scatter in the translucent sole, but the white is solid. The white casts a shadow in there. That's tight. I don't even know how they make that in a mold. They gotta get some white clouds cut out, place it in the mold, and they put the transparent translucent on top, and I get it, get it pressed out. Got the impression up in there. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's graphic design. That's also science. That's also engineering. That's also artwork right there. That's artwork. It's everything. It's got the whole cycle right here. On the extra insoles that the Dunk came with, got the same illustration style this way. This will say Crenshaw Skate Club. Crenshaw Skate Club in his font. That's the hand-drawn illustrated font. Then we got the palm tree in the cloud again on this side. Then we got the Crenshaw Skate Club sign right up in here. There's an actual Crenshaw square sign. That's what that's what that's based off of. On the bottom of the insoles, we got handwriting up in here that's printed on there, but it's I think that's his handwriting. It's a 90008. That's the zip code of his neighborhood. That's how it's typed. Underneath, printed on the air unit. That's what it is. It's on both of them. It's on both of them. This is the this is the insole that come in the dunk. Also got it on the bottom. That's how it's tight. Left blue insole. Got the Crenshaw Skate Club stacked on the Nike SB custom font and then the insoles that come in the dunk. Got the Crenshaw Skate Club. This one got the standard Nike SB logo, but the Crenshaw Skate Club, it violates it, it goes on top. It's super special. They doing a battle right now. This is a collaboration battle. They doing. Along with creating a global brand and community, Toby's vision continues to evolve. And his first collaboration with Nike SB draws from the colors and history and the iconography where it all began. Abstraction, extraction, exaggeration of this pattern. This pattern is um, Crenshaw Square sign in real life. He tell a story where when he was growing up, it was red and then it started doing the weather wearing patina thing and then it green showing through through the weather weather and time that's what it say in a blog article the nike sb dunk low crenshaw skate club builds off the distinct hues and patina from the neighborhood's most recognizable sign you have to see it like everybody in the community knows what it is and it's like a very prominent landmark so as i think everyone has like a lot of different for me it's more like going to going to the crunches going to the square eating earls after going skating with my friends or like after going to church with my family some of these are his words they're not even mine it's tight i like that if you look at the picture in the marketing right now it's more of a fresh sign he said they redid it they redone did it, but he said this is the way he always remembered it. This is the way he see it. So I like that. We got this little emblem in the back. It's kind of icon representation of the line work of the sign again. Crenshaw Square sign. That's what it's I think it's like a marketplace or something. Kind of like an outdoor mall maybe. I don't even know. We could use the internet and we can find out. That's the sign. That's the sign shape right up in there. At first I thought it was some type of um Asian character. I was like, yo, what's, what's up with this? What's up with this emblem character icon? It's embroidered. Must be super special. It's on back of the both of the shoes. It's all tight. That's what it is. It's another abstraction extraction. Just on my pair right up in here. This toe box right here. Straight up a little bit, a little bit extra hairy compared to this side. Some of it's really soft up in here. Got some hairs and some of it looked like it took a shave. That's the Nike quality we talking about. It's all good. This is a skateboard dunk. That's what we're gonna do. This is a skateboard dunk. It's gonna get torn up. That's what we're gonna do. Trying to get back in the skateboard. And that's what it's all about. We gotta see what happens. Only one way to find out actually. I mentioned in the last video, the only raffles I'd be winning is uh, the CCS one. That's big skateboarding. I'd be trying to support my local skateboard shops, but I, I ain't Real be winning. I also enter all the raffles from my local skate shops, San Francisco, Berkeley. I ain't winning. So I said last time, I ain't got it like that. Check it out. Let's look at the recipient receipt. I mean receipt. I just say recipient because it sounds funny to me. FTC skateboarding, Nike SB Dunk Low, and I got a FTC T for almost forgot. Check it out. Yeah, I've been going to FTC since um since I was like 12 years old. That's crazy. That's that's like over 20 years. Shout out Kent to FTC. Shout out Ando FTC. First time I went to FTC, they were on a different location off of Hate Street. Then they moved on to Hate Street. It's crazy. I totally forgot that happened. Actually, this is the FTC box, but check it out. That was the all black on black with the gum bottom actual skateboard shoe, Dunky Dunko skateboard dunk. Back in the day, early dunk, even in the pink box era, 65 skee ball tickets. The Bucky Dunko Dunky Dunkos right here. Got these, these 
old bronchi broncos right here the reds man the reds got went too far look at that somewhere in between there's like my ideal ideal skated dunk yeah, throw down for your local skate shop most of my favorite shirts most most memorable shirts from growing up or ftc shirts they always had the dopest artwork now i got the fast pass shirt so this is a bus pass Everything about design, everything about design got stories. Where the story at? Where'd this come from? Muni Fast Pass. Municipal Transit. That's what it is. Muni Transit. Yo, check it out. Got it on. Got the FTC shirt on. My bus pass right up in here. Now we can say the bus. Shout out FTC. Shout out. Oh, hold up. It's right here. Get the FTC. Shout out FTC. FTC. <laughs> Hey, yo, I just popped out with two back-to-back -back episodes featuring the SB Dunkos. It's the end of the world, I'd still be dunk dreaming. I'm a grown, I'm a grown man and I'd be, I'd be dunk dreaming. Like In reality, I got a couple few dunk center related episodes already on the channel. Everybody in the world be wearing shoes and they be wearing shoes their whole life. So I just got, I got, the, I got the dunks for my whole life. That's what I got, that's what I be doing. This is my level and form of psychosis. That's what it is. Everybody got their own form and level of psychosis. This is, this is what I, this, this is what I be doing. I got a problem for real. This is materialism, this is idolatry. That's what this is. I need help. This is a cry for help. Everybody out there, pray for Embark Life. Gotta stop doing this dunk dream. It's the end of the world. We're about to end. We need to quit dunk dreaming. That's what I gotta do. All right, for show. I'm gonna see you next time. I'll see you next time. Embark Life.